Hello, comrades! Welcome back to Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. My name, of course, is Obud Potato. What you see before you, folks. Uh, this may be considered chaos by some, but to me, it is a thing of beauty. Uh, so, what we are looking at is, uh, I don't know if this is a record-breaking traffic jam. Probably not, but it must be close. And I guess the true traffic jams combined maybe would culminate to a record-breaking traffic jam. However, all of the stuff that we're seeing here is actually really quite positive. It's actually really quite positive. First of all, over uh, over at this little traffic jam over here, you can see that we've got a road cargo station, which doesn't actually have uh, which doesn't actually have power at the moment. But that doesn't really matter. There are already there are already lorries just uh, just chilling around in here. Primarily, these lorries are waiting to offload crops to the uh, to the grain storage uh, that will power the two chemical plants. So that is all fine. Quite happy that we've got that all up and running. And then, of course, we've got all of the old oil tankers that we had, uh, which are queuing up in order to deliver oil to the uh, to the Refinovsky oil refinery, which, of course, is going to be, you know, refining oil uh, as fast as it possibly can. However, now that it's got a solid supply of oil, solid supply of oil uh, there is no need for all of these trucks which is exactly why we are building a a truck storage area right over at mini constructo over here yeah these guys are going to be built well eventually uh, at the moment i think most of our manufacturing capability from mini constructo is being used down here if i'm not mistaken yeah so there's a lot of stuff that still needs to get built okay so I mean, what we want to do in the first instance is see if we can try and uh, see if we can try and sort this out. So let's, uh, you know, do something a little bit like that. Brilliant. And are you going to move forward and take a little trip up there? Perfect. Okay. So all of these lorries, I'm quite ca uh, quite comfortable just to let them, sure, merge into one another over at this side. That's totally cool, uh, and they can do that. Uh, what are we going to be accomplishing in this episode? Well, I hope a bunch of stuff, as ever. Uh, what I am very, very keen to do is to see if we can try, 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 and get all of these chemical plants up and running. Uh, I know that there is still, obviously, uh, a little bit of infrastructure that needs to be built uh, around, around this area, but that's something that we're going to try and do. Another thing that I want to try and do is try and drastically increase the number of workers that we have working at our oil refinery, because at the moment, I think we're surviving with about... Uh, in fact, this deserves nobody. We have no plastics coming in at the moment. Yeah, so plastics uh, can take a little bit of a back seat for now. We need to try and fill this oil refinery with as many people as we possibly can. Why? Um, mostly because we've got the, the oil coming in now, as I've already alluded to. And we need to see if we can try and turn that into a little bit of cash. I'm not desperate for the cash. Okay, that is definitely a record-breaking traffic jam right there. I'm not desperate for the cash, but it would be really, really great if we could uh, if we could get more of the stuff. So, I think, as a consequence, we're probably going to look to see if we can move a couple of people around town a little bit. There we go. And then demolish some of these older houses. There we go. Demolish that house. Brilliant. And demolish that house too. How many people do we have living here, actually? Oh, now we've got 189. Okay, well, that's brilliant. Well, what I originally envisioned doing was actually building a brand new house. And actually, I wanted it to be a modded house. A 21-story prefab flat. Now, this is a pretty... This is a pretty broken building, really, uh, in terms of in terms of what it allows us to do. And by what it, what it allows us to do, I mean, you know, get a huge number of people into a very, very small floor space. But the reason that I actually like it is because it is a legit building. It is a, it is a real building that was built, and therefore I feel totally okay using it. Also, I mean, in one sense I feel, you know, there's, there's nothing really wrong with building a building like this. Uh, in another sense, I feel, ah, you know, maybe it's a little bit, maybe it's a little bit overpowered. We're going to build two of them over here, if I can fit them in. I'm hoping that I can. Yeah, I think that should be absolutely adequate. That's perfect. Uh, yeah, the reason that I want two of them is that I am really, 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 really keen to try and get as many people as I possibly can get uh, moved into the town of Kobe as possible. Uh, we just need we just need more people. That's that's quite frankly, 
that's quite frankly where we are at the moment. Uh, we need more people, and we need more people to work in the oil refinery. There we go. That was already connected up as a pathway. Fine. Fine with me. That's grand. And... Is this going to fit in here, or are we going to have... We're going to have difficulties. I think you might manage to get through. Yeah, you managed to get through there. Brilliant. There we go. That's looking good. That's looking good. Okay. So, we're going to see the construction office auto-assign to there. We need to get this done as quickly as we possibly can in order to buy some more trucks over here. That would be uh, that'd be pretty good. I also want to try and clear up this massive traffic jam. I do want to clear this up. Right. Head back to the other side of the map. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be a big a big old pain in the backside, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I mean a lot of a lot of stuff is holding us back over here. Right. But that's a big old that's a big old traffic jam. That is almost certainly the biggest that I've ever created. That is a record breaker, without a shadow of a doubt. I love it. Okay, so next thing that I want to do is I want to assign you, you, and you all to build these two flats over here. The great thing, by the way, about these modded flats is that they don't actually consume that many crazy resources. It's mostly prefabricated panels, and as you know, if there is one thing that we are manufacturing in copious quantities, it's prefabricated panels. I'm going to take this way down to about 15 workers or so. It's going to take a while to build, but I do not want to compromise our uh, our fuel and oil production. That is simply too important for us at the moment at this moment in time. So we need to we need to prioritize getting that all done. Right. Um Is it possible for me to just turn off like one of these storage buildings just temporarily. I mean that that's good. This has been emptied now. That's that's brilliant. Um what are the chances that I could just could discard a couple of tons of oil? I don't really like doing this, but doing it will allow me to Yeah, okay. So disregard or discard a whole bunch of oil and then that will allow me to unload many, many, many of these trucks. Because I don't think that there is a way for me to turn off this pumping station. Uh, no, I don't think so. Not as far as I'm aware. I can't even limit the storage. And already we're back up. We're back up to 100%. Yikes, 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 yikes. Um, yeah, I don't really think that there's any easy way of going about doing this. The easiest way is, of course, to move all of these trucks to, I guess, long-term long-term storage. But that is also somewhat of a problem. Right. You go to that depot. You go to that depot. You go to that depot. I think we're now full, right? Nope. That was the last one, I think. We'll try one more time. Yeah, we're full. Okay, so we move a couple of trucks. Move a couple of trucks to the depot. See if that makes any difference. We got some prefab flats uh, being built, as I've already mentioned, which is which is great. Uh, and I really like the prefab flats. And uh, yeah, they're pretty they're pretty darn good. Okay, what do we need to provide to the people of Kobe? I don't think that there's anything we particularly need to provide at this moment in time. Maybe some sports fields. Maybe. Maybe some sports fields. Nobody's got an addiction to alcohol, which is a very large shame. Uh, we're okay. We're not okay in the school. We're not okay in the school at all. Uh, so there are a lot of people. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of people that need to be educated over here. I mean, that's fine. We need to start taking this area a little bit more seriously, though. Uh, so that's what we're going to try and do. Let's see if we can try and get a city hall slash accounting office. Yeah, city hall slash accounting office. We'll get that near the edge of town. And we'll see if we can, you know, 
get a little bit of a, a little bit of a handle on this area, so to speak. Okay. There we go. Wonderful. And also, I mean, once we get this local construction office up and running, then we can start thinking about maybe getting some proper gravel roads throughout town. That would be kind of nice. This construction office, by the way, I'm kind of envisioning as the, I guess, like, central construction area for this whole, for this whole area. Um, yeah, it should be, it should be good. It's a good starting point anyway, that's for sure. Right, you're still dropping oil off here, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. Ditch that. That's all you're gonna do now. That's fine. Okay, that's good. That's good. This whole this whole setup is good. I'm I'm reasonably happy with this. Right, how are we doing at the grain storage? We just need a little bit more concrete. That's totally fine. There's some pipes and stuff that are going to be worked on over the course of this episode. That's great. I mean, yeah, as I'm saying, the the priority is to try and make uh, as much as much oily goodness uh, as we possibly can, or as much fuely goodness as we possibly can. Right, and we're still having difficulties emptying this storage. All right, empty the whole storage. Do it, F flip and do it. I mean, I'm not happy about it, but we need to we need to start we need to start seeing some results over there. So that's what we're gonna do. That's fine. Okay, mini constructo. What's the situation in mini constructo? Anything crazy happening needs to get done? No, it doesn't look like it. We got plenty of bitumen over here. Uh, yeah, I think. That should all work just fine. It looks, for the most part, like we've sorted the issue from the last episode. We haven't. There was quite a couple of suggestions about how this, how this was supposed to be rectified. I think it's because I changed the fuel station or changed the location of the fuel station. I'm going to remove that excavator and immediately buy another excavator. It's not ideal that this is the way that things have to be done. However, let's get them sold and let's buy two more excavators. One, two. And now that we've got a brand new fuel station down, we shouldn't see any roadblocks. We shouldn't see any nonsense like that. It should all, it should all work rather flawlessly. That, of course, is perhaps a little bit ambitious, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so this area is pretty much taking care of itself. We need to kind of wait until the uh, prefab flats are done. I mean, there's nothing stopping me from building one of the prefabricated flats. It would cost me 40,000 rubles. Uh, I do still have a lot of cash in the tank, a lot of money in the bank. Let's build one. Let's build one, shall we? Right, absolutely, let's do that. And I tell you what, this gives me a really, really good opportunity to perhaps free up some uh, some housing in Potato Grad. So what I'm going to go and do is I'm going to shoot back to Potato Grad in just a second. Right? There we go. No one lives here. That's fine. Uh, well, first of all, I actually want to move everyone across from the old city house. By the way, you can see why this flat may be considered broken. Because it's got, you know, space for 314 people. It really is rather ridiculous. Uh, so let's get that all sorted. So we'll remove that uh, that old townhouse. And then we will pop back across to Potato Grad. That's right. And we'll see if we can move across some educated people. Right. Let's move. Let's move just a couple. We'll move like, what, like 20 people? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty pretty reasonable. Slightly more than 20, but no matter. Also, I'm kind of hoping that if we move people from Potato Grad, then uh, then that is going to result in more people in Potato Grad moving into the brand new house. As you can see, that's exactly what happened. So there's uh, there's clearly some some people that were living at home with their parents, and therefore it's really nice that we're going to be able to give them a, a space to live. Uh, immediately after that, though, I'm going to move them right out of that house and uh, and right back over to Kobe in the hope that it makes some sort of difference. Uh, we also need to think about our shop infrastructure and think maybe if it's inadequate now. However, that will remain to be seen. Man, everything happens so slowly when you're just using dirt roads. It really is, it really is pretty terrible. In fact... Yeah, it's pretty garbage. Right, what do we need? A visit a pub slash tavern. Is that not within walking distance? A pub slash tavern's within walking distance. 
Uh, unable to get electronics. Yeah, electronics is not great. Not great at all. But we do now have 183, 183 people who are absolutely ready to rock and roll. Uh, that is educated people. 188 educated people, which is not too shabby at all. Um, I'm just thinking, I don't think we have a hospital over here. I think I'm going to rush build a hospital just around, around this area to make sure that we can maintain everyone's lifespan. At least I don't think we have a hospital. No, I don't think we do. Right, get that built. Uh, and the reason that I'm building it right here is because it's right next to where all the educated people are. There we go. And there we go. Brilliant. So that's going to allow people to get to school. It's going to allow people to get to kindergarten. Hopefully, we'll have some teachers in the school. Teachers are able to teach people. And we should be totally fine. Has the oil backlog cleared itself? No, it unbelievably hasn't yet, which is kind of ridiculous. But that's fine. Our train has got more than enough capacity, 345, uh, in order to take all of the extra people that uh, have now moved into the city, which is great. And basically, what we want to do is we want to double it up, and we want to make sure that we've got... Uh, there we go, just get some ambulances. Brilliant. Uh, we want to just double, double it up and make sure that we get as many people as we possibly can moved over to the city in order to try and... Straight up, just get them all to work at the uh, at the oil refinery. That is the plan, as it stands anyway. We have 45 people that live here without any education, which is not super hot, but that's okay. How many folk have we got on this train? 155. 155 loyal comrades. Brilliant. Right. Empty the whole storage. Empty the oil tank again. Again, it's not something that I love to do, but we have to clear this backlog. We simply do not have a choice if I want to allow some of the construction traffic to get through and also to allow these uh, these oil tankers to get around. Yeah, this is not this is not good. This is not my not my favorite thing to see happen. It's uh, yeah suboptimal. I would go so far as to say it ain't good. It ain't good at all. Right. Yeah, so pretty much everyone, every one of those 155 people should be making their way across to the oil refinery. Which is brilliant. There we go. Fantastic. That's really good. So we should make a significant amount of fuel. A significant, significant amount of fuel. That's the dream anyway. Uh, we seem to be doing fine for food. We seem to be doing fine for clothes as well. That's really nice. Uh, that's that's grand. I mean, we are also importing food, which is a bit of a travesty, to be honest. We need to sort that out. But, I mean, that's not really a priority at this moment in time. 85 citizens are unable to participate in any sport. Yeah, that should get rectified. Uh, and, in fact, you know what? I think I might just auto-build a couple of football fields out here. Yep. Get that built over there. Football field. Tennis playground. There we go. Alright. Let's get this built. Fish. Bash. Bosh. Boosh. Okay. Again, doesn't cost me very much at all, but uh, but ends up having a fairly significant benefit on uh, on the entirety of the village. Ah, yikes. This is not something that I anticipated. What about... No pathway through there? No? I mean, that's... Useless. Uh, okay. Am I going to be able to connect this path up here? The answer to that is... Yes, but kind of in a really funky way. Alright, it does. it does technically work, though. Okay, brilliant. So, a lot more sporting facilities are now available. Maybe that'll make a couple uh, a couple of people a little bit happier with me. Have we cleared the oil backlog yet? No, not yet. We're still working on it. We've just delivered a brand new batch of people to work. That's fantastic. How many have we got waiting? 40 people waiting. That's totally fine. Okay, so, construction resources are being slowly but surely delivered, which is, which is fantastic. Have we got all of the right offices assigned? It looks like we do. How many more people do we need to get over here? 
we need literally another day or so of work. We've got 19 people that are heading out to the huge construction office over here. And that is going to be an absolute game changer. This is going to be like a catch-all construction office for now. Okay, turns out they're not heading out to the construction office. That's deeply irritating. Uh, how much would it cost me just to build it? 832 rubles. You bet your bottom dollar I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that deal. Absolutely. Okay, now let's get this set up. We need to get a whole bunch of dumpers. I'll get the KMZ dumper. Uh, I'm not going to get any covered haul trucks. Uh, sorry, any open haul trucks because I do actually have my very own production of open haul trucks happening right now. Yeah, so you change your workplace. Come all the way over here to work. There we go. Brilliant. That's one open haul truck. Uh, ditch that. How many, how many more open hull trucks do I have? I don't think I've got any other open hull trucks. Yeah, just ready to go. Okay, I mean that's fine. Stick it in two times speed. Let's get this, let's get this truck done. Please. Any moment now, and we will assign you exactly to where you need to go. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And kablam. Fantastic. And both of those dudes will dispatch themselves as well which is brilliant. Okay, uh, let's let's leave it at two trucks for now. I mean, I'm not happy with that, but that's fine. We can always come back and assign some more open haul trucks at a later date. We're going to get a couple of bulldozers. We're going to get a couple of excavators. I'm not going to go crazy on things over here, but, you know, uh, you know, a little bit of a little bit of something here, there and everywhere we, we can get. Let's get the most expensive concrete mixer. In fact, let's not get the most expensive concrete mixer. Let's get the best concrete mixer. It's the T148 concrete mixer. I believe it carries 12 tons of concrete in comparison to everything else. The Zill is, for some reason, for some obscure reason, the most expensive thing around. Let's get some tower cranes. I'll get the most expensive tower cranes. I'll get two of them. Uh, we've moved two open hull trucks across already. You know what? I'll buy two open hull trucks. So that'll make a total of four open hull trucks. We need to get two rollers, two pavers. Uh, we don't need felled tree capacity at all. That's not something that we need to deal with uh, even slightly. And we need some covered hull trucks. And that will be fine. Uh, let's get two more open hull trucks, actually. In fact, we've already got two more open hull trucks coming across as it stands. Okay, so let's get things assigned. Uh, there, yep, is where the workers are going to come from. We're going to come all the way over to Mini Constructo, and as I highlighted, we're going to get concrete from there, asphalt from there. We're going to get mechanical components and electrical components from there. Perfect. Steel. Okay, so is that assigned? Is that assigned everything automatically? Has it all? Has it all worked out? Four, four, three. No, it hasn't. I need to do this manually. All right. So steel from there, bricks from there. Prefab panels from there, boards from there, and gravel from right over here. Fantastic, 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 fantastic. So, the great thing about having a huge construction office right next to pretty much all of the stuff that we're currently building is that we're going to see all of it mobilized to uh, to auto-complete all of the different projects, and it's going to auto-find it all. So we don't need to, we don't really need to worry about assigning out of out of town construction projects it should all just should all just work let's reduce the number of people that we have working in the accounting office construction and the prefab flats are underway at the moment as well wow we have 40 doctors that's kind of ridiculous that's kind of ridiculous it may not look like much at the moment but kobe does actually need to be fairly substantial in order to supply all of the all of the work that i want to that I want to see happening with the oil refinery. So, you know, just as one of these quirky little things, we need to see it built up tremendously. And that's what we need to do over the course of this uh, over this episode. That's, that is really a mission. Uh, speaking of other missions that we need to get done, let's head back to Potato Grad and see what the situation is over here. Uh, we are, wow, we are at full steel capacity. Literally 100% production at our steel mill, which is pretty darn good. Pretty much 100% production for mechanical components as well, which we're exporting as readily as we possibly can. Wow, that is, uh, 
That is quite crazy, actually. That is quite crazy. Well, I can't believe it. I cannot quite believe it. Yeah, that's bananas. That's bonkers. Okay, uh, speaking of, speaking of, speaking of, speaking of uh, steel production, how are we doing? How are we doing over here? The bridge is very, very close to being completed. We just literally need to lay a single last layer of, uh, of asphalt. Uh, what I'm going to go and do is I'm going to start tidying up this area. And I think... I think this is the episode. I think this is the episode where we are going to be able to say to ourselves... We're going to be able to... We're going to be able to swap the polarity of, uh, of everything up about here. We're going to be able to make things all work much more smoothly and much better. Uh, what do we need to get linked up? This needs to get linked up over here. I knew there was some linking up that needed to happen. That needs to get linked up over there, and we can actually build that right now with relative ease. The bridge over yonder is almost done. However, it's not being built at the moment, and that's because we ain't got no steel, which is a bit of a big old bummer. Uh, the bridges, wowzers, we are actually making significant progress on the bridges. What are we, like 40% of the way done? Literally 40% of the way done. All right, fantastic. Well, that's brilliant. Uh, still requiring a little bit more steel. Even though we've pretty much stopped exporting steel, we're struggling to uh, we're struggling to produce enough of the stuff because we just literally need that much more coal. It's, it's kind of obscene how much we need. Also, something else that I mentioned very, very briefly, this long and windy route that is currently taken by passenger trains in order to get them over to this area over here. I think we can... I think we can simplify that, and I think we can just see about linking up this area over here. So this... So we get something like this. Yeah, so... I'm gonna try and zone this. I'm gonna try build this with my, uh, with my, with my, with my road rail construction area. I don't think that that will be too unachievable. The only problem with building in this area is, is that it's already fairly congested, and I don't really want to swap stuff around too much. I don't mind swapping the odd pylon or whatnot, but, uh, there will undoubtedly be some problems. Yeah. Like, this is a major roadblock right here. This splitter. Yeah, and that's just not going to come across. Ugh. I mean, look, we could, we could move this, and we probably should move this. We should probably just move this entire structure. If I was to move it over here... Yeah. Okay, go do that. Do not do not use the demolish tool. We'll do targeted demolition. Let's take these wires back to there. Can't connect two different wire types. Fine. Brilliant. And unpause that there. This is literally just a super short cable. Over this distance here, that's fine. I think that that should work. Uh, and in the meantime, let me see if I can do... No, I can't do something like that. I was going to see if I could try and move the cables around to this side of the, the structure as opposed to keeping them over here, but that too may be impossible. I mean, look, why don't I try before building the wires... Build the flipping, build the flipping rails, because if we're able to get this connected up, then I mean that is just going to be such a tremendous shortcut for us. It really is going to be. Right. I think we might need to undergo somewhat of a, a comprehensive rail design over here. There we go. Ditch this. Ditch this. Ditch that. Ditch this. Can't delete. Okay. Not sure why. You're definitely past the station, but that's totally okay. 
Right, too steep for an incline. There we go. That's what I'm after. And then we want to... That to there. That to there. That's very, very good, in fact. Mm, actually, it's not quite what I'm after. Let's try... Yeah, let's try and do something like that. The reason that I suggest that is if we do that, then we're going to be able to put a chain signal in here. Obviously, that's what we want. But I'll also be able to place another signal over here, which means that we're going to be able to keep a train waiting if indeed there are three trains that need to visit this train station at any one moment. So that goes in there very, very comfortably. In fact, that works so flawlessly that I don't think it could actually work any better. And then we just need to find the right angle to make this whole thing work. And it could be, could be over here. Maybe it should be over here. In fact, that seems to work a heck of a lot better. All right, take out that bit, take out that bit. Brilliant, brilliant, and brilliant. Okay, I mean 19,000 rubles to make a fairly significant amendment to the network I will I will take that I will take that a lot uh, so you should be able to go back to here there we go will you be able to work you will be able to do that but you're gonna have to I don't know how you're gonna get home I don't know how any of these trains are gonna fix themselves but you seem reasonably happy with that so that's fine okay there could be a little bit of slowdown over here so we gotta we gotta make we gotta make sure that we keep an eye on this on this thing over here, and then let's get the power turned back on, just like so. Brilliant! Get that built, get that built, and what do you know? We now have returned power to uh, to construct in Grad, which is pretty darn important. Brilliant. Okay, I think that's I think that's actually perfect. I did say that I wanted to build that manually, but yeah, whatever. Right, Kolgradsky, Flatson Kolgradsky, I think we can just about deal with that. How are we doing over here? Tennis Playground that hasn't been built yet. Why the heck is this just not being built? Did I just not build it? I have absolutely no idea. Absolutely no idea, but that fire has been extinguished, which is brilliant. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. This is just about the worst possible situation that we could have encountered. I have absolutely no idea how this ended up happening. I think it's got to do with the meat storage, frankly. I blame the meat storage. Resources missing livestock. Resources missing crops. So that's the fundamental problem, is it? We're missing... This is the problem. This is the problem, and it always seems to be... It always seems to be the forklifts over here. I have absolutely no idea how they are consistently able to mess up this this system. I mean, it, it's not difficult. It's it's not difficult at all, and yet it still keeps happening. Man, I don't I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Do not get it at all. Uh, anyway, the grain storage over here is full. This is the grain storage, if you'll recall, that we're going to be using to build chemicals. Um, so we're just waiting for that to get done. Uh, the chemical production area to get done. And the grain storage area to get done. Man, that's so irritating. That's so unbelievably irritating. Again, forklifts messing absolutely everything up for everyone. Yep. Man, that's deeply irritating. Deeply, deeply, deeply irritating. Well, no matter. I mean, look at this. Grain ski is looking, is looking exceptional. It really is. It's looking very, very good. Very, very good indeed. You can't complain too much. Can't complain too much about Grainsky. Right. How are things looking over here? Ain't looking too bad. That's good. Yep. And now I think... Yeah, I mean, it looks like... It looks like this is working fairly well. Uh, it looks like it's working fairly well. This ain't working well at all. Why do you not want to work here, chaps? I mean, there's no reason. There's no reason to not work there. Chain signal that. Is it because we don't have a signal there? 
Yeah, see, this is somewhat of my concern. Was a little bit worried that... Uh, was a little bit worried that we might have too much too much throughput in this exact area. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Also, the thing that we might be able to consider doing now that we've not been able to consider doing before is doubling up the length of the carriages. That might actually become a possibility right now, uh, purely because I feel like we've got a fairly solid bit of infrastructure over here, a fairly solid bit of track. There are a lot of trains utilizing it now at the same time, though, which is somewhat of a worry but no matter we just need to make sure that you know all of the all of the trains arriving are split across the two different stations if that happens then we will be absolutely golden and there'll be nothing to worry about there yeah that's cool that's fine okay so how are we doing with the bridge ain't doing too bad ain't doing too bad at all we literally just need more steel and that is pretty much the crux of the matter we just need more steel. And in order to get more steel, we need more coal. And in order to get more coal, we need more something. We need more deliveries of coal. Yeah. Yeah, we got a coal train there. Got a coal train there. We have a lot of coal incoming. But the problem is, is that we just do not have... We just do not have... We just do not have a direct enough route, really. Uh, which is exactly why we're working at full full steam ahead on these two tunnels to speed to speed the process up. Uh, also, it should mean it should mean that this bit of railway is completely unused, with the exception of with the exception of the train which comes out to build this uh, another fire uh, this bridge over here. Uh, there should be a fire truck that's that's able to reach that. Or is there a fire truck that's able to reach that? There might not be. There straight up might just not be. Okay. Let me see if I can do something like this. Yeah. There we go. Okay. That's a pretty key bit of infrastructure actually so I would be obliged if we could actually get over there empty the whole storage again I mean this is not good this is not good at all I mean is the fire truck held up in traffic yes he is even though I've created a brand new a brand new a brand new area for the traffic to go I think we're gonna end up losing that oil slash fuel storage thing Empty the whole storage again. Man, oh man, oh man. We have a lot of oil coming in here now. Take, overtake. You should be able to break the laws of... Buy another fire truck. You should be able to break the, the rules of the road, fire trucks. In order to get to the fire. Oh, we're going to end up losing it, aren't we? I can feel it. We're going to end up losing it. There's, there's no way. There's no way we're not. Right, connect that up there. That's not going to make much of a difference, is it? Don't think so. No. No, we're 100% we're going to end up losing it. Mark my words. It's a travesty. It's a tragedy. Uh, but it's going to happen. Right, what was this? This was the bitumen storage. Oh, this is such a pain in the backside because so many trucks are going to get lost because we have so many trucks linked up to this... Uh, to this fuel storage right here. Oh, goodness gracious me. Well, you know what? This is just one of those things, I guess. I, uh... I can't complain too much, can I? What the heck is going on here, chaps? This is ridiculous. Sell that truck. Yeah. Okay, well, it's gonna be an expensive... It's gonna be an expensive loss, frankly. It's gonna be an expensive loss, and, uh... All of the fire trucks should be, frankly, ashamed of themselves. But there is nothing that could have been done about that, uh, unfortunately. Right. So let's get it replaced. I'm just going to build it by hand, because that's the easiest, best way to do it right now. Whatever. 
I'm going to break my own rule and keep the pipeline on the ground. Right. And get that built up as well. Yeah, we won't be able to export bitumen, but that'll be fine. Okay, so now we just got to keep an eye on trucks that have difficulty accessing the bitumen storage. So there are a couple that jump to mind immediately. The ones that jump to mind are the trucks that should be delivering to... The trucks that should be delivering to the bitumen storage over here. Yep. So these two. Uh, yep. Ditch that. Yep. I think that's totally fine. Wait until loaded. Load bitumen. Wait until loaded. Load bitumen. Brilliant. And then the other trucks that spring to mind that are probably going to end up having a problem are the ones over here. In fact, both of these trucks that are chilling right over there. Yep. They've got unload bitumen orders in there already. And let's scroll all the way back over to Refinovsky. Ditch that. Brilliant. 100% of anything, 100% of bitumen, just to make sure. Wait until loaded. Wait until loaded. Okay, I mean that was a an expensive little faff, but uh, but I think it should be I think it should be fine. We making progress on the prefabricated flats? It does indeed look like we are. Brilliant. Once that's up and running, I'll be a very happy chappy. Can't be too displeased with that. A uh, lot of steel is going to go into the construction of large oil storage, but that's uh, that's okay. Needs must, I suppose. Also, I should check. How are we doing over here? Have we made any vehicle depots yet? We have yet to make a single vehicle depot. We have yet to make a single vehicle depot. Which is a little bit irritating. However, I think I can fix that. Eight buses. There we go. And the buses should be able to be dispatched. And now we should see these buses jump into action and deliver to this area over here cool all right we actually have a pretty substantial amount of steel uh, just chilling out over here which is exactly what we like to see that's very good right let's travel back to potato grad and see if we can finally get this area fixed up uh you go over there yep you should be able to make it over there with relative ease he says Fairly confidently. Uh, um. Too sharp of a turn. If I just connect, if I just reconnect this back up for a second, it will work, won't it? Yeah. There we go. Cool. All right. Uh, is there a diesel fill-up station on this route? Ah, that's the problem, is that there's no diesel fill-up station on this route. I see, so you had to come this way in order to get... In order to get diesel. Um... To be honest... That's actually kind of fine. Let me just leave this in place then, I guess? Overlaps with existing construction? Alright, well, I mean, that's a total joke since we just had that in place already, but that's fine. Okay. Merge over there. Merge over there. Disconnect that. Disconnect that. And get that all built. And we'll just keep that one wayified for now. And we'll keep that in place for a little bit. No real ideas if it's going to stay there forever. Probably won't. Um, yeah, we'll need to change that up a little bit as we go, but, uh, but that's fine. Okay, where's our steel, and why the heck is the steel not coming in thick and fast? It should be coming in much more regularly than it is coming in at the moment. That's for sure. Because I really, really, really want to... want to get this new area of Potato Grad up and running. Mini Constructo, you're going to Mini Constructo... I don't really want trucks of steel to go to Mini Constructo. I want trucks of steel going to the going to the road, uh, going to the rail depot. 
Also, something else that I need to consider. I want to get a rail depot on the other side of the map. What for? Great question. That will have to be seen. Also, let me see if I can get this linked up here. Like so. Brilliant. And that linked up like so as well. Yeah, okay, let's fund the construction of that. Will uh, will that work? It'll probably end up causing a little bit of chaos, but hopefully only temporary chaos. I'm just trying to get everything in order, like absolutely everything in order before we actually pull the... Uh, the plug, not pull the plug, the opposite of pulling the plug. There we go. Pull the switch. Building in way. Oh, yeah. This building here. Right. That building is also in the way. That's connected up. That's ready to go. Yeah, cool. We need to get a bit of track here. That's going to link up down there. And then this is going to link up over here as well. I mean, we're uh, we're ready. We're ready to go. We are ready, ready, ready to go. I think. I do kind of just want to go for it. I do kind of just want to go for it. I really do. 6,000 rubles in order to finish the rest of that bridge off. Tell you what. I will finish the rest of that bridge off. Just because I know that we don't actually require that much steel for the remainder of the tracks. And where the heck is this steel actually coming from? Like, it's around. I know it's around. But it's just not coming anywhere near as regularly as I had originally anticipated. Like, I thought there was... I thought there was more than enough steel for everyone. But apparently I was gravely mistaken. You are going there, which is not Constructing Grad. You're going to Constructing Grad, which I think, is that the one that we're looking for? Yeah, this is the one that we're looking for. Okay, that's good. So we've got at least a singular truck of steel, which is important. But it's just steel that we are really waiting for, which is uh, a little bit irritating. Why are you not able to go? There's nothing in front of you. Irritating, 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 irritating indeed. Uh, there have been quite a few suggestions, by the way, about getting a modded modded track builder. I think that, truthfully, is uh, a very good idea because I don't think the track builders at the moment do much of anything. Right, let's start building this over here. Great. Great. And... Let's do that. Chain signal. Can we put a chain signal in here? No. We got a fire. Where's the fire? Oh. Hey. You know what? That's actually fixable. Actually fixable now. Right. This linked up. That linked up. Okay. What are the chances that we're able to just... Nice and easily get a road under here. I mean, not bad, to be honest. Not bad at all. Right, fire truck was called and is headed to this fire. Fire truck is coming from over here. Brilliant. All right, it would be good to get these roads upgraded at some point or another. It's not a massive priority, but, you know, it's something that we might want to do. There we go. Let's get this leveled out over here. All right, that's quite good. And we'll just connect up these two little road networks that we have running kind of in parallel. Uh, and that was a nice, easy fire to extinguish for a change, which is very, very good. Okay. Link that up there. Link that up there. Link that up there. Beautiful. Just to make sure that absolutely everything is linked up or as much as we, as much as we can at this moment in time. Although now that we've got a, uh, now that we've got a couple of construction offices nearby, 
shouldn't be too difficult to link up pretty much everything here, actually. And one final connection. Just over here. Nope. Not one way if I that road. Just like so, like so, like so. Brilliant. Is that everything? That's most things. There we go. Yeah. That ain't too shabby. That ain't too shabby at all. Yeah, I can uh, I can be happy about that. Uh, it looks like we're making significant progress on all of the depots over here. That's great. Let's shoot back to Potato Grad just for a second. You are lost. How are you lost? Oh, it's because I've stupidly planned the signals ahead, uh, which always creates problems for these guys. That's fine. Okay. Well, it looks like we are making progress on the rails, which is which is great news, actually. Very, very good news. Very, very happy with that. It's all looking swanky AF. Pretty happy with it. Okay, so once, 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 once this bit of track is built, we are going to be ready to go, actually. Yep. Okay, so here's the plan. Here's the plan, here's the plan, here's the plan. Once this track is built by the uh, by the rail office, which will be happening fairly soon, actually. Fairly, fairly soon. We just need a little bit more steel. And again, I have absolutely zero comprehension as to why you guys are getting stuck here. There's, there's literally nothing in front of you. Literally nothing in front of you. Convert that to a normal signal, see if that makes any difference. And magically now, it's all able to work. No idea why that ever occurred, but I'm delighted that it's now been fixed. Brilliant. Yep, and that is at least one more load of steel coming through, which is which is pretty darn important, because apparently that's what we need. No workers or mechanism. Uh, also workers. Workers, very, very important, as it turns out. Very, very important. Cool. Okay, uh, yeah, so this needs to get zoned. This will get brought up into here. So yeah, as I was saying, after this bit of track has been built, this whole corner here, I think we'll pretty much be ready to swap on over the iron ore anyway. We'll be able to move that over, move the uh, the trains over from here over to there. So that will be pretty darn nice. Pretty, pretty happy to do that because this bit of track which runs around the corner of this loop here is completely independent to the existing, the existing coal route. So... If I, yeah, all I'll need to do is disconnect this bit of rail here, and then obviously delete the delete the iron aggregate unloading, and then link the link the back road up or link the back route up, and then we will be pretty much will be pretty much sorted. And we're actually making we're actually making rails at a pretty aggressive pace now, which is lovely indeed. And yeah, this whole darn time we're continuing, we're continuing to pour effort and energy into this ridiculously long tunnel. It would only going to cost me just a shade over 1.2 million at this point, which is still absolutely obscene. Um, I do think I need to get modded, uh, modded trains, modded rail constructors. If I don't get modded rail constructors, well, then we're going to be here. We're going to be here until episode 100 or something. I mean, frankly, it's. It's that silly. It's that silly. Look at this. We're making wonderful progress. Brilliant stuff. Absolutely wonderful. Very, very chuffed with that. And you're going to go straight on to the next bit of track. And look at that. You are working like a bat out of hell. That is brilliant. And we are out of resources. You're going to have to. You're going to have to take. Uh, you're going to have to head back. Fine. Okay, uh, what else do we need to do in order to get the coal thingy up online? Not much, actually. Not much at all. We've got that connection up and running. That's real good. Uh, we need to... I'll tell you what we do need to do, actually. We do need to get another rail crossing over here. Probably want to do a modded rail crossing. So conveyor, pipe, forklifting, single rail crossing. A double rail crossing, I think, is what I'm after. So if I can try and get that... I mean, actually, here is the ideal place to do it. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I think we'll do it. I think we'll do it right about here. And that is just going to mean that we can get a conveyor to run parallel, or should I say perpendicular to this point here, up to this point here, and then over to this, uh, over to this storage area right over yonder. Man, we're so close. We're so close to doing it. We're so close to flipping doing it. Just give me, just give me some prefab panels. Just, just, we're so ready. We're so ready to do this. We're so ready to do this. We've got all of the resources that we need. We've got more than enough steel. We've got more than enough prefab panels. We are ready. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. I've never been more excited, actually. I've never been more excited. And that is no word of a lie. No word of a lie. Never be more excited. Uh, whilst we're waiting for that to happen, let's take a quick little jaunt over to Kobe. As you can see, we are very close to finishing these prefab flats. Let's bump up the number of people working in the flats so that we can get it built a little bit more quickly. And no education level is still a little bit of a problem, but that's slowly but surely fixing itself. This is still a chronic, chronic issue. I have absolutely no idea how to fix it. Absolutely no idea how to fix it without breaking all of the existing without breaking all of the existing roots. In fact, I'm not even sure that there is a way to do it. Yeah, I mean, this is this is absolutely horrific. Absolutely horrific. I think the only way, the only way is to get these construction depots up and running and then just move them all to the construction depot and then, you know, reassign, reassign things as and when we need them to be reassigned. Oh, but oh boy, this is, this is grim. This is real freaking grim. All right, well, we're about to finish up on the prefab flats in just a second, so let me grab a flat in Potato Grads. Did we replenish? Yeah, we replenished all of the people in that flat. That's pretty good. How are we doing? Ah, we're educating a lot of people. That's good. Right, let's move a whole bunch of our educated workforce over to Kobe again. And we're probably going to see the people in this flat again uh, shoot up, which is which is great. 53 work days, so that's literally going to be like a day and a bit in-game. And that is a very, very short period of time that I can totally wait. Da, 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 da. Almost done. 11, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Boosh. Okay. Alrighty. So, let's relocate some people from here. There we go. So, take that down to about 100, and we should see this number shoot up a little bit. There we go. Already starting to shoot up a little bit. Uh, and then let's also relocate from here. All right, brilliant. So, lowering the educated population a little bit in Potato Grab. However, to be honest, not that big a deal. We've now got a tremendously well-educated population in Kobe, which is really, really nice. I'm quite conscious of the fact that I don't really want to throw this all away. Maybe, therefore, getting a university would actually not be the craziest thing in the world. Seriously, maybe it actually might not be the craziest thing in the world to get a... to get a university out here. I'll get a technical university. I'll get a technical university and... we'll try and get it somewhere over here. Yeah, so... Let me take these tracks back. I did kind of want to keep the tracks, although now that I think about it, what would I really need to ever use them for? It's a great question. I don't really think there is anything that I could use them for, to be honest. Right. Okay, brilliant. So that's going to have two construction offices auto assigned to that. So we'll at least start work on the university, but there's no real, there's no real need to build it right now. So we should decrease the number of workers so that we don't end up taking the focus away from the, uh, from the oil refining. That's what we need to make sure we do. Great. Down to like, I don't know, 20 people or something. Literally not a priority. Not even close to being a priority. Right. Again, empty the whole storage. We should now have a bunch more people coming in on the train. He says pretty confidently, although I suspect highly that a lot of the people are being picked up by the passenger office and just not making it to work. 
which is pretty darn irritating. Uh, and look at how fast. Look at how fast we're filling up. Look at how fast we're filling up. I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. 480 tons of oil. Is there any reason why we couldn't sell oil? I mean, if I was to have a little look at my pipeline connections... Can I... Is there any way to get... Any way to get more oil into this loading slash unloading area? Just to try and... Just to try and rather than discarding, you know, hundreds of tons of oil all the time, see if I can try and sell it instead. Problem is that it doesn't sell for anything. It sells for pretty much nothing. Right. 208 workers. Goodness gracious me. That is... That is brilliant. That's exactly what we like to see. That is exactly what we like to see. Okay, sport participation, massive issue. But mostly okay. And slowly but surely, we're going to start building the Technical University. Okay, brilliant. Right, back to Potato Grad. I want to finish with the revamp this episode, so... I'm afraid I'm going to have to just build the rest of the route myself. I trusted your video game. I trusted you. you. You let me down. Not for the first time, but look... It happened. Okay, so let's do it. Let's actually legitimately demolish this entire structure right here. It's crazy that we're actually at this point, but we are actually at this point. Let's get some road crossings, uh, rail crossings even. I did say that I wanted to get a double rail crossing. And I did say that I wanted it to be about there. There we go. Let's get that built. All of this stuff I'm going to try and build by hand because I really want our flow of iron to be pretty much as uninterrupted as possible. There we go. Wonderful. Wonderful and wonderful. This is now able to connect up. We're going to have to remove that bit over there. Okay, get this all built by hand. Not by hand, by cash. That will be built in just a second. I'm going to take all of the signals off this route. There we go, there we go, there we go. Right, and then let's take this out here. Take that connection out there. Take this back a little bit over here, just to make sure that we've got the space needed to put it together. There we go. That's fine. Take that out. And I think, I think, I think, I think we just need one final signal in there. Brilliant. Build that by hand. Build that by hand. That's all going to get built by hand. I say by I say built by hand. I mean it's going to get built by money. And then we need to get the right signals in the right direction here. There we go. There we go. There we go. Alrighty. I think we're ready to rock and roll. I think we are ready to rock and or roll. Okay, so there should be a couple of trains that have got issues. Uh, you are one. You've got nowhere to go. You've got absolutely nowhere to go. Let's give you. Let's give you your orders. Okay, come over here. Unload everything. Wait until unloaded, and then I'm gonna find other trains that serve iron up. Just check. You do call. You do call. You do call. I mean, I know you can see the... Yeah, there we go. There we go. You do iron, definitely. Okay, it's gravel. Yeah, it's sometimes a little bit difficult to tell what is in the back of a train. I know, you know, whether it looks black, whether it looks bronze. Whether there's a question mark above these guys' head. Need to go there. Need to go there. Oops. Auto save. Yep, fine. I think that's it. I think that's all of our. I think that's all of our trains. The one thing that I wanted to check was there's a dude with his question mark above his head here, and I didn't set you to go to unload over there. Okay, 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 okay. We are ready to rock and roll. So we should have two trains. We're not ready to rock and roll. Uh, we should have two trains that will arrive up here. 
And then we should have space for a, another train in this, like, little lay-by thing. We'll see if we've got enough space in just a second. There we go. Ditch that. Lovely. Lovely. Okay. Is that a chain signal? That is indeed a chain signal. This is connected up at the moment. I don't think that that will make too much of a difference. Right. Okay. We'll need to see if this lay-by is long enough to deal with an entire train. It should be fine, though, I suspect. You able to get through here? What's the issue? It says you're green. It says you're ready to go. Is it this thing that I put in place? What the heck happened? Does that fix things? No. No, it doesn't. Right. Do that. Stick a chain signal back in there. And stick that back in there. Okay, great. That seems to have fixed things. You are gonna oh, continue to move out here. Of course, we've got a little bit of a delay because of my brand new track that I'm trying to build at the same time as keeping this old one semi-operational. Uh, the other thing that I need to do is get a bunch of roads set up over here. There we go. Connect that up over there. Connect that up over there. Connect that up over there. Wonderful. However, don't connect that up quite yet because we need to get a conveyor over here. Good. I'm going to start construction. Maybe slightly optimistic that that can be funded. Now that can be built mostly by the construction office. Okay. Yeah, no. All right, you're not going to you're not you're not happy to do this. It's too steep a hill. That's fine. We can get it connected up on the other side over here, I suspect. Or absolutely not, apparently. There we go. That's not looking too bad. Don't think that we'll ever really need to use that, although it's always good to make sure that it's connected via a road, just in case there's a fire issue at any point. Let's build that. Let's build that. And then let's see if we have some auto-assigning stuff. Yep, we do indeed. Brilliant. So that should be built pretty much instantly. We're in the process of starting to unload over here, which is very, very cool indeed. And we should be able to fit a second train in there. No issues whatsoever. Cool. Alrighty. Alrighty, 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 alrighty. So, as soon as this gets built, which I guess I could just build. What is it going to cost me? 22,000 rubles? I might as well wait a little bit to see if uh, to see if any trains decide to uh, arrive over there. Also, you know what I should do? I should get a connection over there. And that is impossible because of this bit of road here, which actually shouldn't be here anyway. There we go. And let's get that built. Okay. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Right, so you're going to flood out there. Next next train in. Yeah, don't understand why this isn't... In fact, no, I do understand why this, why this isn't green. It's not green because this bit of track is still connected across here. There we go. That should turn it green if I... Remove both of those signals there. There we go. Okay, apparently I'm completely wrong. Also, what's up? There's a building on fire over here, and it's right next to the fire station, so no issues there whatsoever. Cool. All right. How are we doing over here? Have we somehow managed to fix this issue? How have we managed to fix this? How have we managed to fix this issue? Have we... What? Is there, like, a power issue or something? Because we... We're actually decreasing our amount of oil coming in? What the heck is happening here? Is there something wrong? Have I disregarded so much oil that... Have I just... What the heck? Oh, it's because it's all being picked up over here. Right, well, look. 
this is a great opportunity. Great opportunity to see if we can try and move it. Move all of these dudes across. I don't think I'm going to do this right now. I don't think I want to do this right now. Because this is going to take ages. And I should probably do this off camera. But yeah, I'm going to try and move all oil trucks back into the depot storage. As I've already talked about. Uh, we should now start to make a significant amount of build progress over here. We need to get this built because it's not possible to build. And we need to get that built as well because it's not possible to build. Uh, we'll buy some forklifts. There we go. Eight forklifts. And we will start moving some of the grain from here into the grain storage area. Which should mean that the trucks can start running freely between Grainski and, uh, and Chemgrad. So that's quite good. In fact, that's very good. Don't like the shimmering water over here. That ain't that ain't super hot, but that's fine. And now we can resume construction of the large oil storage. And we'll pick up a whole bunch of employees and workers, and it should all just work. The university as well is a work in progress, and we can wait until that gets done. Okay, that's good. That's really, really good. This whole area is totally sorted. Totally, totally sorted. Totally sorted. I'm very, very happy with this. In fact, you know what? All trucks, all trucks that are related to this building, I think, can just straight up be... I think they can just straight up be moved over. Be moved up over here. Yeah, okay. I'm going to set this as just a reminder for, my, for myself to do. Currently heading to this building. There we go. Because this, this absolutely needs to get done. Okay. But that is that. That's what I'm going to do over the course of the gap between episodes. And then let's take a quick little last trip back to Potato Grad to see if this is all working as it should. So we should be able to receive... We should be able to receive... Ah, this is also the reason why this isn't working. There we go. We should be able to receive one more train... Into this area. You can see, however, that the lay-by isn't quite long enough. I can fix that. I can fix it by doing this. Doing this. Oh, well, waiting until that train has moved in there. Doing this. And then connecting it up like here. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. There we go. Just like so. Brilliant. Build it. Chain signal it, and normal signal it over there as well. Brilliant. Okay, so the lay-by should now be able to take the third and final iron train whilst we wait for the construction of these two, uh, these two conveyors to occur. Does mean that we're going to miss out on a little bit of steel production, but, you know, I'm not too worried about that because... It takes so much more coal anyway to build, uh, to build, you know, a substantial amount of steel. Also, this bridge is now done. Fantastic. Uh, you know, so I don't mind. I don't mind stockpiling a little bit of coal for now. That's uh, that's absolutely fine. Power the power little little small aggregate storage that supplies the power stations. That's also fine. That's cool too. Yeah, very happy with that. And it shouldn't be long before all of this stuff is built. Just in general, I say that though. We do need steel, and we ain't got any steel. Which is why we probably need to just auto-build this. I don't think any steel is coming. I do not think any steel is coming. Uh, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Okay, look. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is exactly how it should be. This is exactly how it should be. Looks like the lay-by is just long enough. Just long enough indeed. That needs to get built. Brilliant. Fantastic. Ah, screw it. Let's just build it. Let's build it. And now we should move all of the iron out from this aggregate storage all the way across to this aggregate storage. Sorry, from the aggregate unloading to the aggregate storage. And then it can be split up and processed from there. Works pretty much the way that it should. And now the real test is going to be what happens when we are done. What happens when the train is fully unloaded? That's right. It's going to be dispatched onto the bridge probably a little bit of a steep a uh, little bit of a steep bridge to get over there but this is a soviet train and therefore it manages with with pure ease look at that 
The two tracks at the moment are completely independent, but they will, of course, both be changed to the same direction once we move the coal over. Look at that. It works like a charm. Works like a charm. Right down to the last moment where it doesn't work like a charm. There we go. Let it continue to work like a charm. All right. I mean, this is a very temporary problem because it's all going to get fixed once uh, once we once we move coal uh, over as well. So that's going to be really, really great. And then this whole setup, we can get rid of this setup as well. Like this crossover. I mean, these tracks aren't really even required in the first place. They're just here for the fuel, uh, the fuel up at the moment. I mean, everything else looks exquisitely perfect. Maybe a little bit of over usage of this bit of track over here. I don't really know if there's any more if there's any way that we can make this area a little bit quicker. But that's it. That is it. Wow. Holy cow. What an episode. What progress. We're actually making oil at a really, really decent rate. Uh, I need to fix those trucks, but I'll do that in between episodes. Didn't even spend that much money. I mean, maybe I spent like a million, but most of it was rush building stuff, which I really, really wanted to get done over the course of this episode. So, I mean, wow, holy cow, that is uh, that is really, really good. I know I haven't really focused on electronics uh, in a while, uh, since the last episode, actually. However, both of the warehouses, or the, the warehouse, and also the road cargo station finished construction over the course of this episode. It's pretty much because I need steel. I need steel for all of this stuff that I want to do. And the only way to get steel is to get more coal, and the only way to get more coal is to make the coal process a little bit more seamless. So that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, ladies and gents, check out the Patreon if you're indeed interested in helping support make videos like this possible. Uh, thank you very much for watching, comrades, and I'll see you next time. Bye.